Hello guys, what is going on? Yes, this is a very strange video. Um, the King's Raid will be back probably tomorrow, or maybe today, we'll see. Uh, we have some gallium here. Uh, this is some pretty cool stuff if you don't know. Uh, liquid metal, basically. It melts at 30 degrees and should harden back up around the same, so like 25 whatever. Um, I'm not sure exactly why, but this gallium here, for some reason in these bottles, it doesn't harden back up. I don't know why that is. There may be some kind of special bottles that prevents sort of that stuff. I don't know much about gallium, but I know it's pretty cool. I was a little bit concerned that there were maybe some impurities in it or something, but, but I assume that's not really the case. Oh, we also have some Play-Doh here for uh, maybe future videos. Uh, leave comments down in the suggestions if you want me to make anything. I guess not that many people know that much about gallium, but uh, you can make shapes and cool little things. I think it was popular a trend a while ago, people making fidget spinners out of gallium. But anyway, I took one of these bottles here, the ones filled with the liquid gallium, and poured it into uh, another container here. You can see that this has become uh, hard indeed. Uh, so yeah, we can try that again right now just so you can see the process and everything. It doesn't become hard immediately, but uh, this is the gallium spoon. Probably, I'm not sure if you should actually use metal to deal with gallium, because I think it's corrosive to aluminum or something, but uh, I think that it's steel. So anyway, what we're going to do is take this. This is uh, pretty, pretty liquid as you can see. We have unscrewed the cap and we're just going to go ahead and pour it right in. That's a small amount, but it doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, it'll be liquid for a while, but it is pretty cool already since it's like 20 to 18 degrees inside the house. And you can see it's already starting to sort of form little uh, nuggets of metal. And uh, just move it around the thing a little bit. We can eventually get like a, a little plate of gallium here. And after a while, that that should harden back up. So we'll leave that alone for a while, wait for it to get a little bit harder, and uh, yeah, we'll come back. So the basic point of this video is to address any concerns about people who may have gallium, and I think these are some kind of special bottles, um, poly something. So I don't know if they somehow prevent the combination. You know, I'm no chemist. I just know gallium's pretty cool. Just try pouring it in something else, maybe something flat, like this thing. It's probably already getting harder over, over here, kinda. It doesn't harden immediately, obviously. Some people put it in like a refrigerator or something to uh, help that process go along, but uh, the gallium itself is actually pretty cool, and by that I mean temperature, so inside the bottle. So ultimately it should should harden. So it's been a minute or so, and as you can see, we're already starting to get sort of a nice little glassy layer there. You can almost see me in the reflection. It's very, it's very reflective, very shiny. I think that's actually quite cool. And yeah, we're getting some little nuggets there. That's also pretty nice, uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. So I'll be back in about 10 minutes to check on it again. And uh, yeah. So it's been about 10 minutes. And as you can see, there is a little bit of uh, liquid gallium left. But it looks like the entire bottom has been coated uh, with the metal. Uh, it's nice and shiny. So in another 15 or 20 minutes, it should be fully hardened. And that's basically how gallium works, I guess. It's still a little bit confusing how the bottles would prevent that. So any chemistry majors or just people who knows what's going on with gallium, you can... Tell me that, you know, school me. I'm not sure if you can actually see that down there, but I actually wrote my signature with a tiny little piece of gallium uh, because I was using this syringe to kind of get it from the big bottle to the small bottles. And um, stupid me uh, thought it would be fine, but uh, the gallium hardened while I was in the process and a little, little drop, it's not there anymore, but a little drop kind of got stuck on the thing. And I was like, oh well, then I wrote my name. So that's also kind of something. Damn, this video sucks. But yeah, um, <laughs> tell me if you want me to make anything with this gallium. I think I have like a kilogram here altogether. Probably the last since I've been transferring it from one place to the other. Um, got some Play-Doh here. Can make some cool things with that, but I'm not too sure what yet. Also hard doing anything with one hand. Uh, be God damn it. I need one of those like head mounted cameras or GoPros or whatever the hell they are. I give up. Okay, well, yep, that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like down below if you did happen to enjoy. Also, dropping a comment. There's way less than before. Just a tiny little puddle left. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. Gallium is pretty cool after all. Um, yeah, but that'll do it. Thanks, guys, as always, for watching. And until next time...